Hello everyone, my name is Luis Fernando Cuartas, I'm an English language teacher from the city of Medellin in Colombia, and I want to invite you to read my article entitled, In a Culture of Communicative Competence, In-Service EFL Teachers Building Understanding Through Study Groups. This article is the result of a collective case study research project carried out by National Language Center in the city of Medellin. Um, basically, it shows the experience of three in-service EFL teachers and their collaborative journey to make sense of the concept of a cultural communicative competence in their own English language teaching context through their involvement in a study group. The rationale behind this article, this article lies in how the widespread emergence of intercultural you know, communicative competence in English language teaching has fostered the appearance of frameworks and curricular adaptations that emphasize on uh, the cultural dimension in English language teaching and learning. But at the same time, it has made in-service EFL teachers to go adrift. These teachers, who have been historically disregarded of updated and ongoing professional development programs, are facing countless methodological questions concerning the micro level of planning, material and assessment designing, and classroom practices. This actually is a very serious issue when we consider the quantity of in-service EFL teachers out there and considering that most of them have not received proper training on practices and recognition of their cultural elements in language teaching and their understanding, and also considering that they lack support and scaffolding from the, on the behalf of institutional professional development programs. Thus, in-service language teachers find themselves in a troublesome dichotomy and being required to cope with the demands of contemporary educational aims and teaching orientations regarding the cultural dimension in language teaching, and yet unprepared and lacking of the necessary knowledge and strategies to cope with these components in their teaching practice. So, considering these multiple difficulties and all these things that teachers have to face, there is a call for in-service EFL teachers to explore alternative ways to continue their professional development and at the same time, to seek ways to make intercultural communicative competence become an integral part of their own language teaching experience. Therefore, this study implied the creation of a methodological route for these teachers to collaboratively construct their understanding of the concept of intercultural communicative competence. These teachers together build a self-crafted teacher-oriented study group which eventually turned into a tool that empowered them to become experts and coordinators of their own professional growth as they thoughtfully analyze their own beliefs, practices, explore different alternative possibilities, and took over their own professional journeys independently from the imposed agendas of institutional professional development programs. This scenario of EFL teachers working together in teacher-oriented groups helped them to change both professionally and in their practices by redrawing their own initial views, beliefs, and assumptions concerning culture and language teaching. This study group, I mean, all the experience surrounding the study group might additionally become you know, into like some kind of reference for future adaptations in professional development programs, as it might empower teachers who have traditionally had little power in shaping the professional development models in which they participate. Uh, well, basically, this is my article. Uh, thank you so much, and I invite you to read it again, and I hope you find it thought-provoking.